Today we're going to be learning about topic, which builds on what we learned about key details. Our goal today will be to learn how to identify the topic of a text. To do that, we're going to learn what topic means. And we're going to learn how to use key details to find the topic. Topic is what the text is mostly about. It's, what, it's the big idea of the text. And it's short, just one word or a couple of words. So how do you find the topic? Simple. You want to start with the key details. Remember, we already learned about these. Then put the key details into a graphic organizer. Then you want to look for what the key details have in common. Use the details to find the topic. I promise by the time we get there, it'll be easy. We're going to be using a bubble map as our graphic organizer. In this bubble map, the details are going to go in the smaller bubbles around the edge. And the topic will go in the middle because it's the thing that connects everything else. Before we use a text, I want you to take a look at this graphic organizer. The details have already been written in for you. What do all of these details have in common? I want you to be as specific as possible. Let's take a look at them. Giraffes, lions, elephants, zebras, hyenas, and rhinos. What do all of these things have in common? You're probably thinking animals, and that's a great idea. That's a great topic for these details. But remember, we want to be specific, and we can be a little bit more specific than just animals. When we look at the animals listed in this graphic organizer, they all live in the same place. Giraffes, lions, elephants, zebras, hyenas, and rhinos all come from Africa. So we could be more specific by saying African animals. We want to be as specific as possible when we choose our topic. Let's give it a try with the text. Read along with me. Meerkats in Africa live in large groups of 20 to 50 members. The group works together to survive. All members of the group take care, care for the baby meerkats. They take turns babysitting and will protect the young ones from danger. Members of the group also take turns watching out for threats from other animals while the group finds food. If any dangerous animal comes towards the group, the meerkat will bark a warning. Let's remember our strategy. As we're reading, we want to think, what are some of the important details? And what details can be grouped together? We're going to be using our bubble map as our graphic organizer, so let's keep that in mind too. Now let's just go sentence by sentence to find our key details. Let's take a look at the first sentence. Meerkats in Africa live in large groups of 20 to 50 members. This is very specific because it's talking about how many meerkats there are in a group. Now we want to summarize it to put it into a detail that we can add to our graphic organizer. Meerkat groups have 20 to 50 members. It includes the details that are in the sentence, but it puts it into a little bit simpler format so that we can put it in our graphic organizer. Let's keep going. The group works together to survive. This is very specific because it's what the group is doing. Let's add it to our graphic organizer. Meerkat groups work together. Let's keep going. These two sentences are put together. Let's read them to see why. All members of the group care for the baby meerkats. They take turns babysitting and will protect the young ones from danger. They're both about how the group cares for baby meerkats. So let's add that to our graphic organizer. Meerkat groups take care of the babies. Great. And let's look at the rest of our text. This all goes together. Let's read it to see why. Members of the group also take turns watching out for threats from other animals while the group finds food. If any dangerous animal comes toward the group, the meerkat will bark a warning. 
This is all about how members of the group take turns watching for threats. So we want to include that in our graphic organizer as well. Meerkat groups take turns watching for danger. Now that we have our details, I want us to think about what the topic could be. What do all of these have in common? If you're thinking meerkats, that's a great idea for the topic here. But we can be a little bit more specific. Look at all of our details. Meerkat groups have 20 to 50 members. Meerkat groups work together. Meerkat groups take care of the babies. Meerkat groups take turns watching for danger. Do you hear that at the beginning? Each one of these details talks about meerkat groups. So that's a little bit more specific and that's the perfect topic here. I think you're ready to give it a try on your own. Go ahead, I think you can do it.